Hello students, today we are starting a new chapter from NCRT textbook, Our Environment, chapter number 15. In this video, we will learn about introduction to ecosystem. We all are very much acquainted with the term environment. We keep on hearing it daily. What is environment? It is everything around us that makes our environment. In a room, furniture, floor, walls, books, phone, computer, TV, air, light, people, insects, everything form the environment. That means what we are saying, it includes both living and non-living things. Human being is affected by environment either positively or negatively. Thus, the surroundings or conditions in which a person, animal or plant lives or operates is called an environment. It includes physical surroundings like soil, water bodies, rocks and air, all living things like animals and plants, also microorganisms like bacteria, virus and fungi. In these surroundings, we see animals, plants and birds interacting with each other and depending on each other. They are also dependent on the plants in surrounding. All the four together are depending on the soil and the atmosphere and the water bodies. So put together, an ecosystem is a geographic area where plants and animals with other organisms, with the help of weather and landscape, make a place for life. Ecosystem contains both biotic and non-biotic factors. The figure tries to explain the same. At the bottom is the individual. Many individuals form the population and these such populations when interact with each other form the community and the communities along with the abiotic factors form the ecosystem. Ecosystems can be both natural and man-made. Forests, ponds and lakes are the examples of the natural ecosystem whereas the garden, crop field, etc. are the human-made ecosystems. Human-made ecosystems are well arranged but lack the balancing effect of the natural ecosystem. Nature provides equal opportunity for existence of different species. It also maintains the diversity. But this balance is disturbed by the human being who kills certain species just for the pleasure of hunting. It cuts trees and thereby place to live for many birds for the urbanization. It causes pollution to maintain its lifestyle and thus disturbs the balance of the ecosystem. Here we complete this portion of the chapter in the next video, we will learn about the food chain and food web. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you liked it, please subscribe the channel. Thanks again.